are watching you. Until then, keep these tickets safe. Two mysterious tickets awarded. Alrighty then. More about mysterious tickets. What are they? What do they do? How do you use them? How many do you currently have? Where do they come from? Heck if I know. I'm sure it'll make sense at some point. Right? Weird. Okay then. I know I said I was going to talk about tacos. So let's see what we have. Ask O'Leary at extension 2938 for his famous back of the van tacos. No refunds. Uh, mention this email for discount. O'Leary's tacos. Okay. Irish tacos. Seems legit. Menu rods occurring, I know. New items available. Rat pesticides. Okay. So you've obviously seen me, you know, fix, you know, opening and cleaning out rat traps, which is disgusting, but it has to be done, apparently. Rat pesticide doesn't seem super necessary right now because I'm not running into a whole lot of rats. So I'm going to hold off on, on, on doing that. I'm a little sad that I am $20 short of being able to buy steak. So I don't know. Maybe I should, should I buy nachos? Or, I mean, it's only 600 bucks for nachos. And I kind of need an extra menu item or two just to kind of throw in there whenever I have the opportunity. Although it has a lot of negatives going for it. Maybe not. Uh, what else could I do? I can't afford wine, unfortunately. I think that's the most expensive item on the menu. Do I want to risk pizza? Like I never, I like never have done pizza before and that scares me. Uh, you know what? Let's do ice cream. Ice cream is pretty cheap. It's actually, well, it's, it doesn't require cooking, so it's not quite so bad as, um, as what's your call it. That stuff that I just like nachos. That's what that was. How much is the upgrade for ice cream? $750 more, but then I can charge $6 for a plate of ice cream. Are you kidding me? Mint chocolate, as well as a surplus of whipped cream canisters and fancy nuts. Eh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, I just want to have it on the menu for like a little, every, just every rarely so often. Okay. Let's take the, let's take the fish off of there. Let's put ice cream on the menu. What the heck, right? I have ice cream and soup on the menu. I've got four staples. <laughs> I thought about doing a, doing a, a playthrough of this game where I just buy like the staple foods and then never change my menu just to sort of circumvent one of the, one of the biggest sort of, not selling points, but one of sort of the biggest sort of uh, aspects of this game is like, hey, you're supposed to be changing your menu up all the time. What if I don't want to do that? What if I just want to just have the same exact things every single day until I get five-star restaurant? What if I just want to do that? What if I don't want to follow your rules game and play by my own damn rules? I think you could actually, once you get to like, I think it's one or, I forget if it's one or two stars, but you do get more uh, food options later on in the game. And one of them, I, if I recall correctly, is coffee. So you could feasibly, let me not mess this up. Sprinkles is P. Okay. Just want to make sure I didn't mess that up. Uh, but you could have feasibly just a menu of just drinks. You could have, uh, you could have, you could have beer, you could have soda, you could have wine and you could have coffee and then nothing else, like just no food because <laughs> all the drinks are staples. So it's like, why would you just, just do that? Right. Vanilla with a cherry. Okay. I'm not used to ice cream. I don't really ever use it. So that's why I'm kind of slow on the draw with, with that. All right. That's got to be awkward to do, right? To cut the vegetables above the the boiling pot like that. I don't know. It just seems dangerous to me. There we go. No! I was going to hope to serve another customer there. Ah, oh, jeez. Why, why is there so much soup? No, not more soup. Okay, thank you, not soup. Bacon and cheese only. You got it. It's a bacon and cheese sandwich. Weird. Oh, 
god, my IHs. This is bad timing. This is really bad timing, body. Why you gotta do this to me? Eh. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. No, Burker's already ready. Okay, there. And meat, bacon. Okay, good. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I know I can pause the game if I really want to, but I don't want to do that. Sorry, that was really bothering me for that, for that rush hour. It's like, I please don't itch right now. This is the worst possible time. Okay, I'm just going to dance for a second. While doing the dishes. This is a slow day, I gotta say. Of course, my my buzz is awfully low. Like 33% is pretty bad, if we're being honest. On the plus side, I get to dance. This music. More tips, please. Give me all of your tips. I forget if, I think I just, I just took fish off the menu, right? I was gonna say, I wish I had had it on the, on the menu, but not today, it's okay. I think I just took it off the menu for ice cream, so it's fine. I definitely could have just put chicken back on the menu. Should have probably put chicken back on the menu. Uh, two vanilla scoops with a cherry. What was there? Wasn't there like a... Wasn't there like a cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper? Is that a thing that happened at one time? I'm pretty sure it was. I remember not liking that. I remember like a lot of people saying, oh my God, it's such good soda. I was like, I never liked it. Or maybe it was cherry vanilla Coke. I think it might've been cherry. That was like a cherry vanilla Coke or something that people were like raving about years ago. And it's like, I, I just did not like the flavor. There was something like that. I forget exactly what it was, but there was something like that like a long time ago that may actually still exist but I don't actually know because I, I really don't drink soda very often anymore just because it's, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to. I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly a, not very healthy to begin with. That, oh, right. Okay. There we go. I was like, why am I not going for this? Why am I not preparing this person's soup yet? Oh, cause I actually have to wash or have to sanitize my hands. Uh, oops. Almost missed that guy's beer. Ooh, that would have been very sad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not terrified at all when something like this happens. Uh, ranch and cheese. All right. Easy peasy. Thank you. $8 tip on that soup. I love it when I get those tips for the soup or burgers or anything that like $8 on a tip is insane for, you know, something like that. It's, it's a lot of money to be giving to to someone like moi. So I am okay with it when I get it. Meat and tomatoes. You got it. Okay. Again, just gonna dance for a bit. Eight bucks for lettuce ranch dressing and cheese that just seems crazy Cheap chocolate soups with sprinkles like i don't know those better be giant scoops of ice cream is all i'm gonna say for the amount of money i'm charging for it okay there we go any other orders or is that the last one nope two vanilla with a cherry that's got to be it right here we go. Okay. Only 55 customers, which kind of sucks, but perfect day. So I'm okay with that. 34 bucks in tips is good. Uh, nine toilets, only one rat trap. See, that's why I don't really care that much about the rat pesticide because it's not really that big of a deal for me. Anyway, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Okay. So we have all of our requirements for one star restaurant fulfilled, except completing 20 days of service, which we'll get there. That's a lot of emails. Okay. Free play coming next week. If you're in this 
San Aruba. Okay. San Aruba area. Visit the local amphitheater for a free play has what for free. Oh, free play. Like, like the acting sort of play. I thought it was like free play, like arcade sort of like you don't have to put in quarters in your arcade machine. No, a free play based on the winter solstice. It is quite a magical experience. One I fully recommend. Yolanda. Safety inspection. These come up, I believe, every five days, so it just keeps coming up. Menu rot, fine, I know. Weather alert, okay. Uh, a perfect day, wow, there we go. There's my $250 coming soon. Cook for love. Are you tired of being a lonely chef? Yes, yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Well, now you can cook your way into a romantic relationship. We are currently building our new email dating service called Cook for Love where we match exquisite two-star chefs or higher with people who have a taste for particular for delicious dishes. More details will be coming soon. So start honing your craft and get ready for romance. This, uh, I'll talk about this a little bit when we actually get to, uh, that sort of thing. And also this is a thing now, robberies. Robberies can occur randomly during the day and can have a negative impact on both Buzz and your bank account. The only way to get your money back from not, and not receive negative Buzz for the next day is to capture the robber using your, ex, your excellent artistic skills. Robberies should take a priority over anything else you have going on the restaurant, so be alert. You can practice robberies by choosing the practice, cho practice chores option in the gallery slash tutorials menu. If you, uh, yeah, it will be the last... Uh, it's actually not the last one that comes up, but sure, why, whatever, whatever. Uh, tower security notice. As of today, Sherry Soda Tower will be fighting back against robberies that have happening within and outside our tower. We are replacing our broken security cameras with brand new state-of-the-art equipment that should be ready within a few months' time. In the meantime, please be aware that any criminal activities should be immediately reported to the tower security and any details about the crime uh, or criminal should be drawn on a notepad with pencil. Goody. Uh, we will be issuing a oh, notepad with pencils. We will be issuing to all tenants in the tower. Thanks and have a safe uh, and thanks to here's to a more secure tower soon. Robberies are my least favorite part of this game. I'll be honest because they happen randomly, completely without warning, and they ruin a day. Basically, it just they're terrible. Air conditioners are available. Nice. That gives me even more uh, patience for my, my customers. I'm going to buy that now. I actually went to the food thing instead of the equipment thing. Whoops-a-doodle. Let's go. Where is it? I probably just went right by it, didn't I? Crap, I said, oh, there it is. Air conditioner. $600 worth it. Because you'll see when it happens about the... I hate robberies, man. They're, they're the worst thing in this game. Like, by far the worst thing in this game. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm actually... I think I might limit... I'm going to take this... I'm going to take the complicated stuff off the menu. Uh, let's... Uh, I can... Uh, yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just go with simple stuff. Relatively simple stuff today. Because now I'm going to panic about... Like if, until I forget that their robberies are potentially a thing, and then of course as soon as I forget that it's a thing, it's gonna happen, and I'm gonna freak out. So I'm sorry in advance if this happens, because I hate it when it happens. You'll see what happens when it happens, but it's a. Uh, you basically have to play the game like you would normally, except it ends up for me taking an extremely long time to actually finish the task which ends up making a lot of people mad. And I've got like panic hiccups, I think. Great, awesome. This is the thing that makes me the most anxious is the potential for robberies. So I'm just gonna really, really hope that I don't have to run into any today, but I'm going to be on edge for the rest of, at least if nothing else, at least for the rest of this day. Uh, if not, many, many more to come after this. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not gonna... Not gonna come back to, you know, scare the shit out of me. We'll see, though. I don't know. But I do know this is a very quiet day, and I'm okay with that. 
A lot of people are ordering beer, probably because they're all scared about uh, the potential for robberies. It seems like everyone is terrified of that. So I am right with you. Oh, good. Okay. Just everyone order beer. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Just nobody order anything else. Nobody order anything more complicated than beer. I shouldn't have even put anything on here that can cook, right? On, quite honestly. I say that and then someone orders chicken. You know, the good thing about having all of my, uh, all of my, uh, my, my stations full, I think, is that I can't be robbed. So please, everybody, eh, please, everybody order all the things. So I don't have to deal with any robberies right now. Oh, lots of order, lots of fish. That's fine with me. More fish. Everybody order fish. And then give me tips in the end. Eh. Okay. The only time I'd be okay with a robbery happening is if there's just no one here. It's not going to happen. I doubt it. I can hope, but that's not going to happen. Let's be real here. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen when there are a bunch of people here. So you can probably rob as many people as possible. Oh, right. Health inspection. I was wondering why it was so fast there. Why why the, uh, the rat trap thing was going down so quickly. Oh, right. So really hope to hope, have to hope that uh, vanilla, chocolate, cherry, and sprinkles. I really have to hope that um, robbery doesn't happen during a health inspection day because that'd be just the worst timing okay still tense right now sure take your stupid cheesy leaves and get out of here why are all the chores happening i mean i'm fine actually i'm okay with the chores happening when the health inspector is not here so i have more than two seconds to take care of all of them Okay. It's gonna be fine. Vanilla with cherry. Why does no one order vanilla with sprinkles or chocolate with a cherry? Chocolate cherry sounds much better than vanilla cherry. To me, personally. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Just have to tell myself that. Uh, that's a lot of ice cream right there. Ice cream sounds really good right now, actually. I've managed to talk myself into really wanting food, even though I, even though I made it a point to eat before I started recording this game. And now, of course, after playing it and looking at all this delicious food, I want to eat. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, here we go. I don't know what I want to eat, but something, anything. All the things, really. <laughs> I like it sometimes when, when a little crumb will just like fly up into the air and it just sort of it just sort of hovers in the air for a couple seconds, like what just happened there. Ah, I hit that too many times. Damn it! I got caught up, and I wow. Okay, I messed up a lot of things there. All right, everything's falling apart now. Yeah. Ranch cheese bacon. Yeah. Oh, this seriously, the the threat of a robbery in this game, it really messes with my head. Which is that's what happens when I, you know, when I have all those I had all those messes those mistakes all in a row. It's like, ah oh, shit. You know, just messed up, gave them Give this guy undercooked chicken, then then over over tenderize another piece of chicken, and it's like I don't. I just my mind is consumed with the thought of a potential robbery, and I just I don't like that. I don't like that. I just rather not have to worry about that at all. 
And I almost under tenderized that chicken. <sighs> okay, bye, health inspector. I was gonna say, now that she's gone, I can just let that toilet rot. I'm not gonna do that, that's gross. Okay, no robbery today. Good. Although that went pretty badly there with the one average and one bad order in very short succession. Oh, not doing great for the buzz. All right. TV tonight. Gabby's Food Travels, India. Gabby travels to India in search of the infamous bathroom burrito and finds that it's not easy. Bathroom burrito in India. Okay, sure, why not? Inspection passed on the plus side. I get the extra 10% buzz from that. Steam leaderboard challenges. Uh, well, those are long over, unfortunately. I wish I had known that this was a thing back when uh, back when it was new, because I would have definitely played through these, but the Steam leaderboard challenges are long, long ago. Ended long ago. Do not be alarmed. Good day, sir or madam. I hope today is a fine one for you. Your cooking skills are about to be challenged. Never mind who never mind who or what I am. Think of me as someone who loves good entertainment and here at Cook uh, Entertainment here at Cookbets. I have taken the liberty of hacking your email client and installing a new bet option on the bottom left-hand side beneath the favorites button on the main email menu. Here you will see a new random event each day that you may partake in at the cost of one silver ticket. I'll give you three tickets to start, and you and every oh, whoops, and you can purchase more in the equipment menu once you have obtained a three-star restaurant. Win, and your fortune will increase rapidly. Keep in mind that this is for advanced cooks only. Good luck and good day. Please enjoy your new cook app. Do not reply to this email. Okay then. Great restaurant will come again. Oh, good, another ten percent buzz. Cool. Uh, chicken breast upgrade available. Nice. Starting to be glad I saved my money. And a fish upgrade available. Ooh, I might do both of those. So here's what CookBets does. CookBets basically uh, gives you uh, a random uh, assortment of foods, and you have to have uh, both of those items on the menu and get a specific uh, length of combo with both of those items on the menu. Or, or more. It could be... Uh, it could be more than two. I think sometimes it could be up to four different food items on the menu. Uh, and then, of course, the payout, 70 times two times the foods times no no bonus, unfortunately. So you have a total potential winnings of $406. Considering that I have... Wait, is there many around happening right now for these? No, there's not. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this bet and pray I don't get a robbery. So I'm going to lose a silver ticket, but that's fine. I'm going to take the bet. A 38 times combo is not too difficult. I hope. I pray. Wow, $1,500, $1,800 for an upgrade to chicken. But that increases the price from $6 to $10. Interesting. And it doesn't change anything for the chicken. It's just, uh, you just get better chicken. You get IQI injected chicken. That's... Uh, not creepy at all. Or $1,500 for a fish upgrade. That Wow, that doubles the fish in price. It also gives you... Um, okay, so it just replaces the fish. So instead of having whatever you had, gray tail. Ew, that sounds gross. Uh, I might do that because that is a huge boost to the price right there. And I'll save up for the, save up for the chicken upgrade later because you don't have to change anything. I think one of the other... I think there's one of these upgrades for a fish that actually adds a new ingredient. I think it's just lemon. Uh, but this, I mean, doubling the price for the fish, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I mean, there goes most of my money now, but I'm really hoping that I can make up for it by winning that bet. And uh, please, game, don't, don't do the robbery today. Okay. Oh, right. I totally forgot it was, I forgot that the, the icon for the fish changes because I have a new kind of fish in there. I was like, what the hell is that? Oh, it's the fish. Vanilla, there you go. 
Maybe I should have invested in the uh, dishwasher. I think I might have to invest in the dishwasher soon. I actually have to... No, it didn't say that it came with lemons, so we should be fine. Or didn't start providing lemons. And with the um, with the increase in buzz, I should get to 38... Con 38 uh, relatively soon. Although now I have to start paying a little bit more attention when I tenderize my chicken. Because I don't want to accidentally... You know, over tenderize. Have to make sure I don't do that. All right. Now, of course, one thing that happens for me every time I do the chicken is uh, when I tenderize it, it just it has the sound that just looks it sounds just almost like someone is knocking on my door. And it throws me off, not all the time, but enough that it kind of, it's just like, is someone knocking on my door? No, of course not, because, you know, it's, it's me. It was the, it was the tenderizing of the chicken that I just did four seconds ago. It was not, in fact, someone knocking at my door. But it does, you have to admit, it does sound a little bit like it could be someone knocking on a door, right? So I have good news for you. It is, in fact, not someone knocking on your door. It is just... Uh, sure. It is just me tenderizing a chicken. Which is not a euphemism, by the way. Although I might have to start calling it that. Okay. Wanted to make sure there I didn't accidentally uh, select a food that I didn't mean to. Okay. Good. This is a nice calm music right here that I kind of needed after that lunch. Vanilla with a cherry. I need to take ice cream off the menu because it's it throws me off every time it comes on here because it's like I don't I don't really I, I don't usually have ice cream on my menus for this game. So it kind of throws me off when it comes up. I was like, wait, what are the keys for it? Vanilla, there we go. I can't read the current combo meter. So I don't know if I'm close to my 38x requirement. Ranch cheese mushrooms. Have to be have to be careful with the salad also because uh, I've made mistakes on that before many times. I don't want to make a mistake this late into the run. I think I'm at like 30. I can't read it. It's okay. I'll find out eventually. I got it. Obviously, I'll find out by the end of the day if I got it. I mean, if I get through the dinner rush and don't make a mistake, then I will, I'm sure I will have gotten it by that point. That extra buzz from those couple other things that I got earlier, very helpful in making sure that I get that 38x combo. So health inspection was a good time to do that. Let's see, ranch and cheese. You got it. Eight dollars, please. One of the one of my favorite things to do that happens in this game is obviously I can, if I had the nachos, I could show you, but instead I'll just tell you for the moment. Uh, one of the things you can order if you have the nachos uh, dish on your menu there that people can order is just a bowl of chips, uh, and like that just that just makes me laugh because it's like you're paying. What was it four or six dollars for a bowl of chips? And you could buy an entire bag of chips for like two dollars? Why would you go to a restaurant and pay four dollars for just a bowl of chips? It just it's it's silly to me. It's it's the same with the pizza. I think there's just a pizza item that's just like just cheese, no sauce, no nothing else, just cheese. It's like, why would you do that? You could just you could just like you could get you could get a, a piece of bread and put some cheese on it and throw it in the microwave or something. And that would be it. It would be basically the same thing. Okay. I think we got this. All right. Again, I'm sorry. I can't actually read the, uh, I can't, 
can't read that, like, I think it's like yellow text on a green background. I just can't read it, quite frankly. So I'm pretty sure we got the 30, 38 times combo for this. So we got the bet done, which is a relief. Not that there was like a huge, like I just would have lost a silver ticket. No big deal, you know? Okay. You know, the one time I'd be okay with a robbery happening is at the very end of the day, like after all the other orders have happened, because then I'd just be like, I could just dedicate whatever time I need to, to finishing, to go ahead and finishing that task. I don't have to worry about any food cooking or anything, you know? I'm not saying I want to deal with it at all, but if I had to deal with it, I'd want to deal with it like at the very end of the day, which would also, it would be the most logical time of day to rob a place would be at the end of the day, right? You'd think that. I don't know. Okay. Are you gonna make it? Good. Whew. Okay, just that. I was glad they didn't order chicken at the end of the day because I would have been very mad because I would have had to stick around for all of that. Oh, okay, perfect day. Thank goodness for that. 65 customers, that's quite a good number right there. 32% uh, buzz, only three rats. So actually three rats is more than usual. Eight toilets, Ugh. 24 dishes. I might have to buy that dishwasher soon because it's just, it's getting a little ridiculous with the dishes. So we made it. Somehow, food love. I love your food and want to eat that all. I'll eat all, I want to eat on that all day. Man, it is so, so good. I don't know why I'm emailing you this, but I just wanted to make sure you knew. Keep up work. Keep up work. Okay, sure, dude. Uh, I cook my cook bet results. Hello, good sir or madam. You have won the bet yesterday. Your winnings of $408, $406, sorry, I misread that, have already been placed into your account of $1,020, giving you a total of $1,426. Not creepy at all. Please continue to use CookBet, and thank you for your entertainment. Do not reply to this email. All right. Okay. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Okay. I know. Steam leaderboard challenges. They're, they're gone. They're done. They're over with. Menu out, I know, all the things is gone. Weather alert, okay. Perfect day, got that extra 250 bucks. Unclaimed money. We have found that you have some unclaimed money, refunded, oh, refunded taxes, based on previous restaurant ventures in our records. The following are the unclaimed funds from the following businesses you will be receiving today. 301.ONR Restaurant, 1210 East Cannoli Drive, 302.ONR2 Restaurant, 3992 South Spork Road. Thank you, Federal Taxes Administration, $200 added to account. I like this. Can I just keep getting money? Crazy Dave's bet. <laughs> All right, buddy. How about this bit? You can't do a 20 times perfect combo plus have salads and ice cream on your active menu today. Your skills just can't match my awesome bets. Pony up $300 if you think I'm wrong. Well, I was going to take ice cream off the menu, but I guess I'm not going to do that this time. And I was also going to go ahead and spend the money that I just got to, you know, upgrade my chicken, but I'll take the bet. Pasta upgrade. I don't like pasta on this game. I love pasta in real life, but I'm not going to be doing pasta in this game, unless I absolutely have to. Even then, I think I might not. We'll see. Okay, so those have to go off the menu. <sighs> 20X combo, huh? I might have to spend a little bit of money just to buy something simple, quite honestly, because I don't want to deal with either lasagna or soup if I have to get a, a combo, a 20X combo. I could do... Um, I could do corn dogs. That's pretty simple. It's pretty cheap too, right? 350 bucks. I'll do it. It's worth it just to do this for like the one day. Yes, I realize I'm just spending $350 to get $300 back. Um, I don't need to be reminded of that. Thank you. Uh, I know I'm making a bad decision. Also, wow, that's terrible buzz. I might not even get to 20x combo at all. Oh, I maybe have made a terrible mistake here. What's the bet for that? It's pasta, pizza, and steak, and beer. I have one of those, so no. But 
I suppose we will do this next time because, you know, it's that time when I need to end the episode. So next time, uh, we'll, we'll see if we can, we'll see if we can beat Crazy Dave's bet. See if we can uh, get, get the 20 times combo with salad and ice cream. And I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that I don't get robbed midway through because that's just going to be the worst if that happens. So going to try not to be super anxious about that, but we'll wait until next time to do that. So thanks everybody for watching and I will talk to you all next time.